everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a video for you guys about some really special pieces of jewelry that I own. I had got a really great response to my other video. I think I entitled it My Jewelry Collection and Storage or Organization or whatever. I'll link it right here. Actually, I'll put a card up um, so you can just click right over to it. But these are some special pieces that I inherited. It. Inherited it? Is that right? These are some special pieces that were left to me by family members who are no longer with us, specifically my grandma Dorothy and my grand aunt Sylvia. So let's get into it. This first piece is a gold bangle bracelet that was my grandma's and it's really pretty. Um, it's got this engraving in it. My grandfather, my poppy, he had given this to her. Um, I don't know what exactly event it was for but it's pretty substantial and it has, if I can try to open it for you, this type of, um, sorry, this type of a catch, you know, kind of opening thing. And I wear this for special occasions. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to wear it to Walmart or anything. I'm trying to hold it straight for you guys. And so, uh, but I really do love this piece a lot. I had inherited two watches from a grandma. They're both citizen watches. It's this watch. It's got a rectangular face. Um, the face of it, it has no numbers. It just is the kind that has the dots on it. It's got this really pretty bracelet to it. So... It has one of these clasps on it like this, which is, eh, oops, you know, it's a really pretty watch. I will wear this one when the battery's working. I have to get the battery replaced. I like this one a lot. Sorry, I can't seem to hold it straight for you guys. Is that right? Okay. She also had given me another watch. Now, this is it. This is, is this a citizen also? I believe so. I'm not sure. I'll check it and put it in the description box below can you see that it's really hard to see this is the same thing it has no numbers on it and it is the hmm what do you call that the the thing that makes you the stem the stem has broken off of this thing so i have never worn it i don't particularly care for this one as much you can see the bracelet part is a little bit different and it has that same type of a clasp to it, which is not really my favorite because to me it seems like it could open up and fall off pretty easily. These earrings are from Grandma Dorothy as well. They are some type of a shell with a gold braided um, trim, I don't know what you call it, and I hardly ever wear these. They're really heavy. And this is the type of a closure that it has. So that's not that comfortable for me, but I just could never part with them. I love my grandma so much. She was just the sweetest woman you could ever in your life want to meet. She also left me these earrings, which I never wear, and you probably can never get these from any place in this whole wide world. I'm sorry, you guys. These. Let me just hold up one. This here earring is made out of ivory. And again, a really heavy earring. These are just not something I would typically wear any place that I can think of. But these are my favorite and I do wear these. I'm just gonna show you one. These earrings, this is a pearl with pearl dangling and it's got the gold trim around it. And I love these earrings. They have like a little bit of movement to them. It has this back, backing to it. Can you, can you see that? There you go. Sorry, you guys. Just have patience with me. And um, I do wear these uh, when I get dressed up. In fact, I have a specific dress that I love to wear these earrings with, and they are just so gorgeous. So that is the jewelry from my grandma Dorothy. 
This is for my grandpa, and I didn't mention that to you guys. Let me see if I, I don't know if you can see the detail on this. Let me see. This is engraved with the initials NZ. This was um, my grandfather's, my poppy. This was his bar mitzvah ring. Back in the day when boys got bar mitzvahed, I guess they got a ring. And he, it's, don't know if it's been sized, but you can tell, let me show you here. It's a little bit thinner here in the center um, than on the sides. I don't know if it's ever been sized. And there's a story behind this ring. Um, my grandfather had given this to me when I went down to visit him one time and my mom saw that I had it and she got so mad and she was like, that's for me. And I said, no, Poppy gave it to me. Well, she took it back and I was so mad and then she never wore it, so she gave it back to me. But I remember that was a huge fight. Okay, speaking of my mom, this ring, so stinking pretty. This ring is her engagement ring. My mom and dad, when they got married, they opted not for to get a diamond ring, but to get a pearl ring and save their money for furniture. And it's got this really beautiful pearl on it. And then on the sides, it's got baguette diamonds. Now, my mom's still alive. She's not dead, so it's not like I inherited it, but it was just too pretty to leave out of the video. And I'll have my wedding ring on that hand. It's it's a little loose on me, and it's really delicate. I did wear it Easter Sunday to church because I do really love it. It's so pretty. <clears throat> so that's that. Now, the last two pieces belong to my great aunt, my Aunt Sylvia, my grand aunt. And this was her, one of her wedding bands. See, it's got rubies and diamond floral. I don't know if you can see that. A floral motif. And it goes all the way around the ring, like so. And I do wear this ring a lot. Um, I do have a wedding ring for my husband, but um, when my hands are swollen, I do wear this ring and I do love it. It's really wide band, but it's so pretty. Last is this charm bracelet that was also my Aunt Sylvia's. And um, it's got all these different charms on it. I don't know if I can show you each one. I mean, I can, but let's see how this goes. So that is a car and the wheels move. This is a treasure box and it opens. This I don't understand. Well, this is okay. This I don't understand. There's a significance. This, can you see? Oh my, hold on. I can't really show it too well. Hold on. This is a toilet bowl. Why? Why does she have a toilet bowl charm? That's so bizarre to me. And then a bicycle charm, which do the wheels turn? No, but this, yeah, the wheels turn and so do the handlebars. Can you see that pretty well? I'm doing my best, guys. Then, of course, the telephone. This doesn't have any moving parts. I don't think. I'm going to tell you a lie. Yeah. Everything is stationary on this one, but it's pretty cool. I don't know if she likes to talk on the phone a lot. Now this one makes me kind of sad. I'll tell you why. This, oh, you guys, I really want to show it to you properly. This is a high chair. And this part, the little part where you would lift it up for the baby to get in and out of, and it's got a little baby cup. 
hanging at the bottom. And the reason it makes me sad is because my aunt and my uncle were never able to have children. Um, she had, uh, they just were never able to have children. So, and then the key, which I guess was popular even then. This is a lawnmower. Like, I don't know, she grew, I didn't grow up near her. Um, they lived in the Midwest and we lived on Long Island. But this is one of those lawnmowers that has the, oh, you guys, I have to show it to you this way. Can you see that? Is that super blurry? There we go. Oh, here's another sad one. No, I'm sorry. Part of this broke, but this is a baby buggy. A carriage, we call it a carriage. This one's pretty cool. It's, um, it's a ladder, like a little, little step ladder. And there's a heart on the top of it. And on the steps it says, step up to my heart or something like that. It's really cute. Last one. This is cuckoo clock. And the pendulum swings back and forth. Pretty cool. That is my inherited jewelry collection. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye.